If you're having trouble parting your own hair, you might want to watch this video and try this. Hey everyone, I'm Lauren, and if you're wondering if you part in your hair the right way, personally I think whatever you feel comfortable is the right way, however I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks today. But first thing first, I'm going to show you the tools. So you'll need a wide tooth comb, you'll need a mirror of course, and then you'll need a finer tooth. For tip number one, any hairstyle I use that requires parting the hair, I usually like to start with a middle part. And I can hear you asking even if the style has a side part, yes guys, even if there is a side part. So I'm able to do this part with no mirror, no pun intended, <laughs> because this is my usual parting method. So as you can see guys, I'm kind of just following through with my hand and I've got an idea as to where the part goes. Now when I get down to the bottom, it's not totally straight. For me, that's not really an issue because I'm just doing a quick style. However, if you do want this part straighter, I suggest using the mirror. Also, a quick side note for you curly girls. If you're gonna part your hair down the middle, I wouldn't suggest dragging the comb down like I just did because obviously your curls will get tangled. So it's just best to do it bit by bit. So now you've got your middle part, you're gonna put one section away just to keep that out of the way so you can concentrate on the other half of your head. So this style that I'm doing requires me to part down where I'm parting, just behind my ear. As you can see, it's not totally straight, but again, as I said, it's fine. This is just for demonstration purposes, guys. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you how I do that. And then once I've checked my parting and I'm happy with it, I'm gonna twist the hair up, okay, just to keep it out of the way. So before I do any style, guys, I usually do my partings first, and then I get to the style, because I find it easier than having to plait, then part, then plait. I used to do it that way took 10 times longer. Well, I'm exaggerating. It took longer, okay? <laughs> so I'm just doing the same piece. I'm gonna do my hair in three sections on one half of my head. Haven't got a clip to hand, guys, so we work with what we have. So there you go, guys. Please don't mind my nails. Please don't mind my dirty mirror. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> you know me, come on. Anyway, so I'm putting this section away as I did with the first two parts of my hair. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this one away. And then once I'm done with this side of my head, guys, I'm gonna go and do the exact same thing because obviously you want your parts to match. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. There you go. And I just find that using this uh, slightly thinner comb, not a rat tail comb, that doesn't necessarily work for me. If I was going to use a rat tail comb, I would use the metal part, guys. So if you do want to use a rat tail comb, I suggest using the metal part. The fine tooth comb for your hair or Hair density like mine isn't necessarily good for your hair, however, but if that's what you prefer to do, guys, and there is no correct way in doing this if that's what you feel comfortable with. So now I'm just showing you, well, I'm trying to show you, sorry guys, I underestimated the camera height. So I'm just basically trying to show you that I've tried to match my parts on both sides of my head equally. Um, they're not entirely matched completely. However, I'm gonna show you a little method that I do that will help me to get them even straighter and match even better. So this is where the mirror comes in, guys. Parting the back of my head in this direction is not as easy as parting straight down the middle of my head because now I have to make the parts line up. So this is where I would recommend the mirror. And just because I use the mirror doesn't necessarily mean they do line up at this moment. So I will be showing you now what I do so I put my hair in Chinese bumps, bantu knots, whatever you want to call them, just so I can get a clearer view of how my parts look. And this is one of my go-to tricks. So once I've got my knots, I just want to double check that I'm happy with the parting so far, but then I've also got to knot the other side so I can see that they both match. Now I've got my hair in the knots, I'm going to show you the difference, so can you see that guys? So what I can do now is unravel that as I'm doing and I'm just going to rectify that error with that part in. Now once I'm happy with that part in, as you can see it now matches a little bit better. <laughs> 
not the best, but as I said, this is demonstration purposes, guys. And I've only had my hair in this protective style for about four or five days, maybe. So I weren't too fast because my hair was due for a wash. Whilst I've got you watching, how about give me a thumbs up, press the notification bell and subscribe. So guys, once I was satisfied with my partings, I checked it all out and I was happy with it. I then went ahead to go on and style my hair. So if you want to see how I done this look guys, well not this particular look, but if you want to see how I do my hair, you can click at the end of this video and I will show you how to I do my braids with adding in the extensions and what have you. So, there you go. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this video guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next week.